is Sylvana. And as you can tell, this is my level 100. So here is the special episode about flying in Draenor. So the first thing that you're going to want to check, these three things you can do before 6.2 comes out, we'll talk about that in a moment, is in your garrison, there's the table, the war planning table with the blue exclamation mark on it. Each day, it'll have a PvE thing to do and a PvP thing to do, from what I understand. Although these both look like they're PvE to me. So, in your achievements, under I don't think it's explore, but yeah, I don't think it was explore. I think it's under quests for this one. There's going to be a quest called Securing Draenor. And it's a list of all the different assault missions that you have to complete. So you have to have all of this done. And again, you can write down a check on your own and see what you have done. Obviously, I don't have any of them. And then you want to make sure you do it. So like here's Assault on the Pit, Everbloom Wild, and so you know you look. So here's Assault on the Pit, and this is Shadow Moon Enclave. So here So yes, we have, we need the pit, and I don't see one for Shadow Moon on play. So if I was going to do that today, that would, the pit one, although it's a group, is the one I would pick. The second one you have to have done is also under quests, and it's the Treasure Hunter, so where is that? Wait, no, 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 no. Yeah, quest is the treasure hunter. Okay, so I'll use this. Is the lore master? What am I thinking? That's the other one, and then the third one's under. Okay, sorry. Let me rephrase that. So, the you need to make sure that you have done before six point two comes out. Under quests for Draenor, you want to have the securing Draenor done, and you want to have the lore master of Draenor done. I've, I've got three of these. And I'm working on the other two. Now you can see when I mouse over it, it'll say completed. That's one completed, completed. And then you see this one says it's completed, but it's not green for me. That means my other character has this done. All right. And then the third thing you need to have done is under exploration. 
under Draenor. It's the treasure hunter. You have to have a hundred treasures found in Draenor. And then the other things you need are two reps that come open with, um, what's it called? The new area, um, Tanan, Tanan Jungle, that you need to have up to, I don't remember if it's revered or honored. So I found an add-on and I'm going to use that. I'm going to show you that right now. That shows everything. Where, where all the loot crates are at. Where all the rares are at. And this will help you. When I pick up the, the add-on, I only had 8 treasures. Now I have 22. And I only did treasure looking for about an hour. So it helps a lot. It's called Handy Notes. You need to get the main one, Handy Notes, and then you need to get the add on called Handy Notes Dash Draenor. And it'll show you not only on your over map, but on your mini map when you get close to it, it'll show it on your mini map. Now, I was also told, so we're going to go check and see if this is true. There's one that shows on the main map that it's in your gear set. Okay, so we're going to go try and see if we can't find it. Alright, so it says it's down here. Back next to the stairs. Back next to the stairs. There's a whole thing. So this should be it. And that's for for that. That's all that is. And oh I'm sorry, I have twenty one, not twenty two. And that apparently doesn't count as one of the treasures. But now it's done. There's two right here. And the cool thing about this is that it'll tell you, like uh, here, Piper's Buried Supplies 4, Loot, Garrison Resources, Loot, Info, Garrison Resources. And then the other one, it'll tell you Lunar Fall, Egg, Loot, Garrison Resources, Loot info, garrison resources, notes in the tent. So if there, if it's not right out in the open where you can see it, or it's sort of hidden, it's up on something, the notes will tell you where and how to get there. So it was right outside, it said something about the tent. So there's a tip there. Alright, so let's go searching. So we'll go in the tent. Okay, let's dismiss my bear because seeing in the tent is hard enough. Seeing in the tent with a bear, almost impossible. Okay, so. Ah, wait, there it is. There's the egg. Okay, and then the other one was right here next to it, up over to my left a little bit, by the tree, I would say. About here-ish? Nope, up a little. Well, oh, see, right there, there's the very day there. So, there we got those two. And these are in your garrison, and one of them did count. So now I do have 22. You know, I didn't have to go, you know, even outside of my garrison, here's one that's up here in the cave in the lake. 
So the, the handy notes definitely, if you're going to do this, is a very, very must have. Because I wouldn't have found these. I would have never found them. I'm going to be honest with you guys. If I hadn't had this add on. So now I want to talk about 6.2. Um, I was reading the, the notice today that says restarts will be going on from 5 to 6 tomorrow. Now, it didn't say rolling restarts. So, I'm not going to say 100% 6.2 is coming tomorrow. But, restarts mean, since they've already preloaded the patch, that it's a good possibility. So you just go back over here, and there you go. There's some more. So, um, the time to do this, if 6.2 comes tomorrow, uh, getting it pre-set up to do, obviously, won't be an option anymore. But, if 6.2 doesn't come tomorrow, if it's just regular, um, like, reload of the patch, because they've changed some stuff from when we downloaded the pre-6.2 the pre stuff last time to now, so this might be a patch to that information before it goes live to update what has changed. So if you've done this or you have most of this done, it won't be as much of a slog for you as it's going to be for me. I'll get Lore Master done because Lore Master to me is easy. It's one of the achievements I always get when I'm questing in the new area, I have Lord Master of Pan Pandoria. I have Lord Master of Cataclysm. I don't think I have it for um, vanilla or BC only because there were so many zones and you didn't have to go through them all to get leveled up but I have a good portion of them and I do go back when I'm bored and got nothing else to do because I can't slash don't really read I'll go and do some more questing on the lore masters that I don't have So it's just one of those things. If you've done this work, you know, the the treasures annoy me trying to get to them. It can be uh, like the ones here were pretty straightforward. They were pretty easy to get to. I wonder if that one in the water counted for another one. Nope. You know, I'm not leveling. Let's track that. That's another thing you can do if you're not leveling. See this bar, it's no longer experience. You can track that and it'll give you the count on your achievement so that you don't have to keep looking at at your um your achievements tab. But uh, also it's going to matter how important flying in Draenor is to you. I would love to be able to fly in Draenor, especially to, be, to have my alts who are still leveling in the area be able to fly. And that's the cool thing is if I do do this, obviously I would do this on this character. It's the most... Um, advanced in the storyline. It's also level 100 so it can go to places and get the two that's missing which is Nagrand where I'm currently questing at anyway and Talador. 
So, and I've already done Talador once on my board, so it won't be much different to do it on my Alliance than on my Horde. But, uh, you know, if, if flying is really important to you, find, if you have multiple alts, find whoever's closest to doing what needs to be done and just focus on them because this is one time you don't have to do it on every alt. You do it once on an alt and it's done for all of your now the only exception to that is cross faction so if you are like me and you have some alts that are alliance and some alts that are ord when i finish it with this character who's my alliance character all my alts that are also alliance will be able to fly in draenor but my horde won't. I'd ha I'll, if I want to fly on my hordes as well, I'd have to pick my level 100. I only have one that's that high or even close to that high. I don't even have any others that are like 90 or the rest of them are very low. And um, work on it with that character. But there you go. Now you know what you need to do to fly in Draenor. Hopefully, it'll help you if, if this is something you really want to do. N knowing where to go, at least, to help you find... The, the treasures... And how to look and see where you're at with Lore Master and Securing. Uh, securing, I don't think I'm going to get done at all. And the treasures are maybe, because some of them are difficult for me to get to. But hopefully, I've helped you guys out a little bit if flying is important to you. Or for something you can do, um, if your achievement, if you're into just the achievements. And there's some achievements you might not be aware of. So, thank you for watching. Please like and subscribe. Comment questions, please post below. And as always, I hope you guys have a great day.